much love back again to lift those up that take the time out of your day to listen to Brother EBX Cares and I care all day, every day. And I know my brothers and sisters is doing great because you are alive and you breathing and you're uplifted by the sound of my voice. We always got to give honors, ladies and gentlemen, thanking our dads and our moms. And I thank my mom and my dad for giving me this spirit and the wisdom and the power to raise up those that listen to the sound of my voice. And may my dad rest in power and rest in peace. And may my grandmother and my granddad rest in power and rest in peace. And I want to get into this. Respect is a must, period. Honor is a must, period. You don't have those two things. You're going to have a difficult road in this life. Respect is a must at all times, in all areas. I don't care what happened in your life. I don't care what you have or what you're trying to achieve. If you don't have a good motive and you don't have respect for yourself or others, you're going to see storms all the time. Now, most individuals, most brothers and sisters I'm connected to, we have the ultimate respect. And that's why we are in the position that we're in. And when I say position, I mean a state of mind. Because you always hear me say success is a state of mind. Not cars, not jobs, not money, not being a celebrity, not being a high hierarchy politician, anything of material status. You won't be able to, to enjoy any of those things or acquire those things or keep them or appreciate them if you don't have self-respect. And self-respect is something that we should all take serious and study because I'm the wiser I get, the longer I live, the older I get, the more time I spend on this weird planet that we're living on. The more I study words and phrases and things that we are so used to and we grew up on. And respect is one of those words. We all know what it means. And I know a lot of us, especially brothers and sisters I'm connected to, I know we take it serious. But this is for those who don't really pay attention to that word and throw it around. Respect is the root of everything good and everything rational and logic and truth. And if you're lacking respect, you're gonna lack life. You can't live life with no respect, especially for yourself, because you're definitely not gonna respect nobody else if you don't respect yourself. And how our life is and how things turn out is all up to us. No matter what position we're in, we some of us need to stop comparing ourselves to others and limit ourselves to social media. Because social media is, I see, is making some individuals lose honor and respect for themselves. They want to be seen and want views. Now I'm talking about the ones that's just in it for the views and on social media 24 seven. I'm not talking about the ones that's, you know, trying to lift up and educating and doing good things. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the ones that's in it for the views and the status and, and trying to scheme and plot. I'm talking about them and they know who they are. The, the, the good energy, the good brothers and sisters, they know who they are and the bad ones, they know who they are. So I ain't got to split hairs cause we know who we are. Because the ones I'm connected to, we got that strong spiritual discernment. We ain't playing. We in this for real. We are not playing. And one of the platforms that I have been following for a long time, and because I have respect, I don't say the individual's name because never use another individual's success to, to make 
you know, to build yourself up. You know, you you utilize it, take advice, but you don't use them. You know, you cherish them. Think of it as a teacher and a student. You 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 start out as a student and you learn from that individual, whether it's brother or sister, then you become a teacher. But you never forget about that individual. You always respect and honor the individual, especially if they have brought you to out of a place that would have brought you down and led you down the wrong road. And I'm saying that to say, I will always reiterate this and always say this. Brothers and sisters that I have most, I had, like I've said, I've had friends help me. I've had family, of course. You know, I'm thankful for my family. My, my family has helped me out a lot of you know, hard times and, you know, tough times. A lot of times it was my choice. Even times when I didn't deserve it, my family was there. So I'll never forget about my family. And I don't like to separate people. I also got an online family, you know, besides my my biological family, which is my brothers and sisters. And like I said, when we when real spirits recognize real spirits. And the brothers and sisters I'm talking about that I listen to, if they was to hear me speak right now, they would know who I'm talking about. And I salute and I give honor because they helped me in my growth. And that's that's my little small summary of respect and honor. We have to honor each other, not just platforms, but just in general, especially our brothers and sisters in the black community. We have to respect and honor one another, whether we disagree with one another or not. Now, if you come to an individual, whether it's brother or sister, and you're having a conversation on a topic or something that's going on in the world, and you disagree, that's cool, that's gonna happen. But if one individual becomes defensive and not willing to, you know, rationalize and work things out and fighting against it, then that individual, you'll have to kind of push off to the side because they're getting away from having respect and agreeing to disagree. And like I said, if you got a real good discerned spirit, you'll know who's fake. And you'll know who's not. It will show. Because those that had that light will always expose the fake. And also, having respect for yourself also can re- can expose the fake too. Because when you respect yourself, it's certain things that you will see, whether it's an entity or you know individuals you're connected to, family, friends. If it's certain things that you see them doing that's not right, the respect and honor that you have won't let you follow them. It won't let you, you be like, no, that, that's not cool. That's not cool. And you won't be afraid of what people think. And that's what I kind of see kind of in social media, you know, in society today too. We tend to see now, like, again, I want to say, I'm not talking about the righteous brothers and sisters because I've always said this. There's a lot more righteous brothers and sisters out here than we know. It's just, I don't know, for some reason, the the brothers and sisters that are negative and are scamming, I don't know, they seem to draw more attention. I don't know how that is, you know, and it, it kind of overshadows the righteous brothers and sisters that are out here. But we, we can't, we can't, a good woman and a good man can't be held down, a good black woman and a good black man. We are the strongest of the world. We are the heroes of the world, whether those know it or not. And I don't say believe because you can believe anything. No, I know this. It's in my spirit. I wouldn't be doing this right now if I didn't know this. And I'll say, I'll give another salute to my strong, unapologetic brothers and sisters out here that's fighting all these temptations and stuff that's coming at us. Because some of some of uh, our individuals that we kind of look up to and listen to, these are the ones that's scamming, the ones that's doing wrong. It's sad, and you like you hold them to a status and they fall off. That's not having self-respect. If you're scamming people and you're lying to everybody and you got all this big influence, that is the the biggest not that's that is not self-respect at all. Cause if you're doing that, that's you know, you have no honor. You know, you just in it for the views and money. You know, that's no respect and no honor there. And that's an empty bucket. That's a, that's a bucket with a hole in it. And it's sad because, you know, that's 
you think of all the followers and all the people that subscribe to you and i'm talking about those that do that are high in stand in status and are scamming think of all those souls and all those people that they let down and that makes it hard when you run into people like that that makes it hard to trust other individuals that are doing the right thing that have high status and that's why in this life and in social media we have to be very very careful my brothers and sisters keep your self respect and keep your honor and keep your ear open and keep your receptors open keep those pistons firing at all times love yourself respect yourself and it will expose the light in the scammers out here and I just that this is just in my spirit and this goes like a, this is global this is just not in our personal lives and you know in our people we connected to but those 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 that we do see or listen to or around on a daily basis those are the ones we have to have our self respect on because unfortunately the the one most of the time the ones that end up scamming get the closest now but you have to really really go into your discernment to detect these things and self-respect is the first place to start because one must love himself or herself or you just won't have no love for nobody else that's just how the law of attraction works if you don't have love how you gonna get it even if you're portraying you have love at some point in time the real you is going to come out because you can only bury the fake you for so long and learn from those that have failed but don't you know again i'll say because this is the black community and and i love my brothers and sisters but we we can't be spiritually naive we we got to know that our brothers it's some of us that has the same color are you know they'll get us too so we just have to be aware but still focus on the good brothers and sisters out here don't be paranoid of everyone that you come in contact with just keep self-love and keep that self-respect and keep honor and you will live a long life because honor is a gift that keeps on giving and learn from another brother or sister and pass it on and keep this keep this fire blazing so that's that's my positive thought and that's my word be very careful who you connect yourself with and who I, I mean even me you know check me out do research on me you know find out things about myself I mean about me I, I have nothing to hide when you have nothing to hide and you in it from the heart and you in it for the truth and you in it to save souls of those in your melanated family that's the ultimate freedom but I'll say again the real ultimate freedom is loving yourself my brothers and sisters and having the utmost respect and honor for yourself and others that has helped you along the way and generally care about your way of life and your well-being and i've connected with a lot of that right here online and you know that's that's kind of a shame when you can meet brothers and sisters you know the ones that are righteous online can help you that have never met you live in a whole nother country you know a whole nother continent and change your whole life and you got people right near you that don't give a damn about you so that's a reality so keep your head up my brothers and sisters stay encouraged and and stay strong let nothing take you out of your character keep your self-respect so you can fight and live another day for you your family your children people who care about you focus on the people who want to see you live and do better in this life and i am one of those one must know thyself and love everyone else self-respect honor keep that in your spirit at all times and study discernment and karma it will help you to keep yourself from getting lost whether it's social media in the world news uh scamming individuals you will miss all that 
because you got self-respect and you got honor. So y'all, keep that peace, keep that love, and keep that power. And I always got to give a peace to my family, friends I grew up with, brothers and sisters online, and my kings and queens, brothers and sisters that take the time out of your day to listen. May you all have peace and you're a part of the world wherever you are right now. And as I always say, have a great, great, strong one.